everyone. I'm so excited to be back with a new product review. My taste and smell is back. I'm so happy about that because when you're a foodie and you just love, you know, all sorts of foods, it's so nice to be able to taste and smell. Imogen's playing and watching a nighttime program because so it's evening here, hence why I'm in my dressing gown. So the product we're reviewing today is by the brand Superfoodia. And I've got this cute little box which actually came last week, but because I haven't been very well with a cold and I've just been a bit off since I had my COVID jab, I'm just sort of been recovering and waiting till I can smell and taste so I could do more product reviews. So I have these samples and this brand actually originally came in the Crave Kit, which I, which I get a subscription for monthly, which you'll see on my channel. And they've got this lovely cute little packaging. So these are just little snacks for me to try. They have such cute, you know, sticker on the front and it tells you the information you want to know really straight away on there so on the packaging on the back it says that it's vegan natural ingredients no palm oil and no refined sugar and that's basically what they are promoting on their channel as well on sorry not their channel but their website on instagram i'll put all their social media stuff in the link in the description below so you know it tells you on here so facebook twitter instagram and obviously website now the story goes on their website that they were backpacking in South America where they discovered some really delicious food, really nice nutritious food, healthy, fresh food. And they've tried to incorporate that in their brand Superfoodio. So trying to make it vegetarian and vegan friendly, no refined sugars, and just all natural ingredients basically. So I'm totally down with that idea. I think that's so great. So I'll just open this box up, but you can tell, you know, it's generally, revolving around I guess nuts or peanuts because it's all covered in peanut butter um, artwork on here and it just says think outside of the jar. I could be totally wrong but that's just the impression I'm getting straight away from looking at the label but it's probably just talking in general actually you think outside the jar so you think more fresh and you know less fine. Okay so I've got the box open so here we go and we've got all these products inside so let's have a look at what it says. So we've got these little packets of buttons, which I'm trying today. And I first had the, I think it was the peanut butter one. So I actually have tried these ones already. These came in the Crave kit and these were really, really nice. And I'll explain why in a minute. They've left me a cute little note. So let's just have a little read of what it says on here. So it says, hi, Sasha, it's been years in the making, but the time has finally come. We are so pleased to send you the full range of our brand new peanut butter buttons. Hope you enjoy them and we're excited to hear what you think. Love a peanut butter. Love and peanut butter. I think that says Nirali and Jag. I think that's what the handwriting is there anyway. But yeah, how cute is that? That is so lovely. They've sent me the peanut butter chunky buttons, which I have tried before and I'll try again on camera because it's so lovely. They've sent me cocoa crunch peanut butter chunky buttons. The pink packaging, lovely or like a purple I suppose. And then they've sent me peanut butter, PB and J peanut butter chunky buttons. So they're all chunky buttons, they're all shaped the same. And that sounds really nice actually. So the samples I've got, they're not all keto friendly, but they are all low carb. So the first one which is keto friendly, which again was in the Crave kit, is the original peanut butter buttons, okay? And this one says on the front that it's 2.5 gram carbs per pack. So eat the whole pack, it's lovely. Um, 1.9 grams of sugar per pack, and then obviously they're all plant-based, vegan, no palm oil, natural ingredients. I absolutely love natural ingredients. I think this is something 100% I would give to my child when she's older, because she's a new baby, she's nine months. And it says on here, six grams of protein per pack. So it's really good protein per, you know, snack, which I think is really lovely. And it's just really nice packaging. So just visually, I think it's really nice. It makes me want to grab a pack and open it even on the back as well. When you've got the ingredients or the other bits in here, I think it's all laid out really nicely so you can easily navigate between each section. Let's open the packet up. And always, let's give it a sniff. Mm, yeah, this just smells like peanut butter. It smells so delicious. So when you open them, they look like little cute buttons about the size of a Rolo, I would say, which is like a chocolate we have in the UK. And then they all have an S brand on there because uh, it's Superfoodio, it's their brand. And what I absolutely love about these, what I tried in the Crave kit, 
is that they don't sort of melt like peanut butter, if you know what I mean. They keep their shape and form, which is really nice. I assume it's probably from the cocoa butter, I would have thought, which would keep this shape. But anyway, let's give this one a try. Mm. Just as nice as it was in the craze kit. Really nice. It's just like a pure peanut butter shell. Mmm. Very nice. You get a slight bite to it. It is a smooth button. You get a slight bite to it. I don't know if it's from the salt, maybe, you know, little bits of peanuts. But I love it either way. And what I really like about this snack, actually, in comparison to the peanut butter shots you can get, which is just basically straight up peanut butter put in a little snack um, strip, is that you don't get all the oils and all the fats running off it. Because I find, especially when you have one of these peanut butter shots, you put it in the cupboard, you take it out, and like any other peanut butter jar, it kind of sets and then the, the fat splits and it just kind of goes everywhere when you open it. Oh, I mean, Imogen's having a little chat to herself. But that's what I love about these. You can put these in the cupboard and they'll stay the same shape and form and just be, you know, the same. Really nice. So I absolutely love these. I would 100% buy them. Check them out in the link in the description below. Really, really nice, keto friendly product. I would buy that again, and I'd definitely buy it for my daughter as well. If she was having a packed lunch or something. Okay. The second one is Cocoa Crunch. So again, peanut butter still. It's still the main base is peanut butter, which I absolutely love. I love peanut butter. And this one again says plant-based vegan, no palm oil, natural five ingredients. And this one has three grams of protein per pack. So it's half the grams of protein than you do get in the original peanut butter. And then less is protein in there. So... Again, packaging is the same, it's just different colour. I think it's really nice, nice, bright, colourful, attractive, makes me want to open it. So, let's open it and give it a sniff. Mmm, yes. It smells a bit like, you know, like a chocolate digestive when you get that smell of, like, chocolate and something else. Mmm, yeah. It smells like chocolate and you get a slight hint of peanut. So, that smells... Oh! Imogen's talking again. That smells really nice. So again, you get the same kind of button with the S on. So on brand, because it's super foodier. The cute little button, so same size and everything. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Really nice. So I'd say it's the same texture. You get a bit of bite to it. I don't know if it, again, if it's from the salt or maybe the peanuts. Probably the peanuts, but I love it. I think that's really nice. It's like a smooth button. And you can taste the cocoa as well. It's not a really strong cocoa taste, but it's like, I want to say it's like peanut butter with like that cocoa hint. You definitely get a hit of cocoa at the end and you do get a hit of cocoa at the start as well. Yeah. Yeah, so you get hints of cocoa throughout chewing it. I wonder if there's any cacao nibs, which is what I'm guessing. Yeah, there's cacao nibs in this. So this is actually where the bit of crunch is coming from which is really nice texture actually. That's really nice, I would I would buy that one as well. And again, I wouldn't mind my daughter having that one. So this one, before I finish on this one, this isn't keto friendly because it's got coconut blossom sugar in, which isn't a keto friendly product. However, it's all natural. There's no refined sugars in it. So gluten free, high fiber, all the good stuff. Per 20 grams, so per whole pack, this does have 4.8 grams of carbs. So actually this can still be keto friendly depending on the type of keto diet you're on. I personally do charge with keto, so this is right up my street. If you do a kind of, uh, I think it's like lazy keto, dirty keto and all that sort of thing, you could easily fit 4.8 grams. So that's, you know, for the whole snack in your diet. If you're having less than 50 gram net carbs, even 25 gram net carbs, you still fit that in. So that's really nice guys. So the next one is the PB&J peanut butter buttons. Again, really nice packaging. This one's like the red color, I suppose for the jam um, color on it. It's showing strawberry, so I'm expecting it to taste more strawberry than raspberry. So we'll see when we open it. And this one has five grams of protein per pack. So again, really good. Similar to the original peanut butter, so lots of protein in one snack in the whole pack. And again, plant-based vegan, no palm oil, five extra ingredients. So that's really nice as well. I'm um, quite open them. These ones wouldn't be keto friendly because it's also got coconut blossom sugar in this one as well. If we look at the carbohydrates, so again, these are all high fiber as well, by the way, and all gluten free. So if you look at the carbohydrate content, the packet is actually only three gram net carbs. So 
This one is one gram and a bit less than the Cocoa Crunch. And then obviously it's not as low as the original, which was, what was it? 2.5 gram net carbs. So it's only 0.5 difference. So this is also worthwhile thinking about on the keto diet. If you're doing that, you can 100% fit this in, in any kind of keto diet. So unless you have, you know, like a medical condition, I would definitely reach for these. So let's see how they taste. Let's give them a sniff. Oh, get my nose right in there. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting peanut butter. I'm not getting like a sweet smell. But again, looks the same. So you've got US brand in there for Superfoodia. Slightly darker than the others. Let's give it a taste. Mm, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> so it's like the cocoa one where you get the kind of hint of jam or strawberry, should I say, running through. Imogen's talking over me. Running through the button as you eat it. I'm just going to try it again. Mm. Yeah, so the same as the cocoa one, you get like hints of jam throughout and like at the end of eating it. It's really nice. Again, it's only subtle. It's not like a strong, sweet, you know, flavour, but that's really nice actually. Really nice flavours in there. And I would definitely have that one and I definitely let my daughter have that as well. That's really, really, really nice. A good product, three, three good flavours. Three different flavours, all natural and just really, really nice. Um, I really enjoyed those. I would, I would 100% buy those. They're really nice. Um, really nice people to talk to as well on social media. They're very approachable. And I just think they're brilliant products, brilliant ideas to keep things, you know, less refined um, and more natural. I just think that's such a lovely idea. So that is my product review for today, guys. So there you go. So there's the three flavours I've just tried. Absolutely delicious. I would 100% get those. There's nothing really bad I can say about them, to be honest. I absolutely love peanut butter. If you like peanut butter, then you're obviously going to like this. I have a look at the links in the description below. Go send them some love. And I think I'll just end the video here. So let me know if you've tried these guys before. Let me know if you're going to try them. Or if you tried something similar than what you thought. Or even if you tried them in the Crave kit. And I'll just leave the video here, really, on my review. So 100% recommend them. Go check them out. Um, let me know what you thought about them in the comments below. And also, let me know if there's something you want to see on the channel. Or anything that I haven't put on there that you want to see next and any other keto low carb things you want me to try especially if there's any snacks you want me to try as well as I do love doing the product reviews now I can taste again I'm super excited to get some more on the channel so see you guys in the next one